Well, with me here is uh, the Honorable Land Attorney General, uh, Honorable Rukutana. Well, Honorable, thanks for joining me. And I would like to know from you on some of the matters that have been presented on the floor of Parliament regarding um, the independence of the Electoral Commission. Yes. Trying to shift the powers of appointing the Commission, uh, uh, shifting them from the President to a certain committee. What are your chances of seeing this uh, proposal going through? The, the President should appoint as it has been, but when it comes to disciplining, the President should not discipline or dismiss members of the Electoral Commission, but he should subject them to a commission of inquiry. That way, the commission will act without uh, fearing any repercussions in the event they don't agree with the president on any matter. But for the appointments, the clause will remain as it has been. From a legal perspective, you as a land attorney general, mm. the custodian of law for this country, mm. what would it mean in the event the House wanted to distance the president from the entire process of appointing the Electoral Commission? You see, the president under this constitution is the chief executive and is bestowed upon with the powers to appoint all commissions. The Electoral Commission is not an exception. It's a commission like any other commission. Look at all these commissions. The appointment is by the president. Like indeed, the president has the powers under the constitution to do all other things. So we didn't see any merit in them saying that uh, it should be a different institution or body to appoint the electoral commission. Uh, well, there now the issue of our presidential term limits. Uh, well, it is uh, the, the seventh parliament that did remove the presidential term limit, and now the ninth parliament is trying to talk the restoration of term limits. Do you think that this is a path worth talking? You know, we had term limits before. We implemented the constitution when we had term limits. For very good reasons, Ugandans found that term limits were not tenable. And we removed term limits. Now, we are uh, implementing this constitution where there are no term limits. There must be justification why parliament at that time, and when I say parliament, the entire parliament, voted to remove term limits. We are not convinced that there are any grounds now to go back to the original uh, situation. Well, thank you, Honorable Land Attorney General, for joining me. Thank you very much.